Yo, 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 what's up, everyone? Today we're doing a review on True Beast Protein Booster, and we're also doing a review on Muscle Bully Vita Bully. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, uh, how to exercise your dog, five exercises that'll make them swell and muscular, at the end of the video, you see me talk about the 80 20 rule. Now, 80% uh, of your dog building muscle should be their diet, should be their supplements, all how they recover and all that stuff and what they're intaking into their body. And only 20% should be exercise and to never overdo 20% because um, you could definitely start seeing some negative things out of your dog. You just don't want to overwork them. I know a lot of people are like questioning is protein, you know, the way to go for their dogs to get built. You know, there's a lot of questions. I know a lot of you guys that own pit bulls, American bullies, want your dog really thick and muscular. Um, some people will actually say these are not okay to give your dog. Some people will say these are okay and they've seen a lot of great results. So really this is what this review is about. I'm gonna tell you what I think about the proteins. But a little disclaimer, I'm not an expert nutritionist. I know a lot of you guys at home experts are gonna tell me what's right and what's wrong. Um, if you do that, please just give value instead of bash people. I know you guys are going to do it either way, but I'm not an expert nutritionist. I am knowledgeable on this topic, but take it as you wish, man. I'm only giving out the best research and knowledge that I have. I'm not fugazi or nothing like that. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about why protein is important. Protein is a compound made of amino acids and is an essential part of living for all organisms. In necessity for all aspects and development and growth, protein is critical to the immune system because it supports enzymes and antibodies. Protein also helps maintain the fur, skin, and nails of your dog for an overall healthy look. If your dog lacks protein, their body can start breaking down their own muscle tissue to compromise for the lack of protein, and that is the exact opposite of what we want to happen, so that's not good. Also, one thing to know, if you're going to give your dog some kind of protein supplement, giving a lot of protein to a lazy dog is not ideal because they're not moving around, they're not getting exercise, they're not breaking down the muscle tissue, and uh, the protein is going to help it, you know, come back and re-heal into something bigger. So it's important if you're going to give your dog some protein, they need to be highly active. Not a crazy amount, like I said, follow that 80-20 rule but they need to be somewhat active. You need to get them out there running. Um, they need to just have some kind of movement. You're not gonna get real results if you have a lazy dog and you're just pumping them a protein. That's actually not good for the dog. So um, you definitely want your dog out there, you know, breaking down some muscle tissue. The protein is gonna help it heal. I got two kind of feedings here. Now I know some of you guys, um, I got this way too big dog bowl full of kibble and I got this small little bowl of raw feeding. I'm gonna show you how this protein could work for the people that feed kibble and the people that feed raw. But there's two type of dog owners. I'm gonna show you what could work for either one, no matter what you feed them. Okay, so we have a raw and we got a kibble feeding. Now, uh, this is not a complete raw. We actually have a meat shortage at our grocery store, so I'm not able to get liver or organ. Um, this coronavirus is real, I guess, I don't know but I have an ideal raw feeding and some kibble. Now uh, I'm gonna go over the measurements that you need for your dog. So um, the True Beast Protein Booster, let's see if I could get that in there right. Now um, feeding guidelines, under 25 pounds, half a scoop daily, 25 pounds between 50 pounds, that's one scoop daily, 50 pounds through 100 pounds, that's two scoops daily. Now, Bo is around 83 to 85 pounds, so um, that means we're gonna give him two scoops a day. But it does say start with half, of, or actually start with one third of daily recommended amount and gradually increase every three to four days until daily recommended amount is met. So um, what it's saying is don't give them the whole serving that they're supposed to have right away, just so it could settle into their stomach. So um, I'm gonna open this up and see what it looks like.
so uh, that's what it looks like. See that there? Now I'm gonna smell it. I don't know why I'm gonna be a weirdo and smell it. It's beef broth. It don't really smell too much like anything, but um, yeah, this is the beef flavor. Um, beef bone broth, protein, and collagen. 99% crude protein. That's what's in there. See if I can find the scoop. The scoop is all the way down there. So, um, dang, kind of gets sticky right away. So, uh, he needs one scoop, so one third. So I'm about to, I'm gonna do two half a scoops for today. Now, if it's in the kibble, I'm just gonna put it in four scoops of kibble. I'm not gonna go over what kind of kibble is best and what kind of kibble this is, like I said earlier. So we threw that in the kibble. Same with the raw. Oops, a little too much. Now I'm not gonna feed them both of them right now. Uh, we're gonna do one feeding of kibble today. And obviously right now we're about to feed them raw. But um, yeah, we'll just put this in the raw, sprinkle it around. Um, and that's that, man, it's simple. I tell you what though, the powder kind of feels rich. It doesn't feel like it's very processed. It's, look at this, it's sticking all over my fingers and um, you can kind of get an idea of what it like feels like. But um, this feels kind of rich, to be honest with you. I really don't judge protein powders off what they feel like, but it doesn't feel cheap, if that makes sense. So um, we got the oversized dog bowl of kibble and I don't want him eating it just like that. So mix that in there. And I'm gonna feed him that. Same with the raw. Can't really, oh man, I tried to shake that like a dummy. Just move it around. Probably should have a spoon for this, but um, I like to get down and dirty sometimes, you know. Whatever for Bo, you know. So I uh, mix it around. I don't want it to be in globs when I feed it to him. I want it to be, you know, kind of mixed in there. I want him to have every, every bite that he takes to be beef flavor. I don't want it to just be one powdery chunk. I want it to go down uh, pretty nicely for him, pretty smooth, so he doesn't have any time any hard times digesting this so um and that's what raw looks like again missing some organs but that's the overall view of what it looks like for all the people that are feeding raw um now let's go over muscle bully vita bully let's see what these look like now before i move on to the muscle bully vita bully I wanted to tell you guys that I will link these in the description if you want to pick them up today. I will also link some other protein supplements that I think are good and maybe you could go check those out. Let's get into the Muscle Bully Vita Bully. So, that's how you know it hasn't been opened yet. So, um, that's what they look like. And they're pretty big chews, there's 50 chews. I'm gonna smell it like a weirdo again. These are kind of strong. Um, these definitely have a way stronger order to them. Let me see if there's like a certain flavor. Um, I don't see a flavor for this. Maybe I'm just blind and can't read right. But um, the daily feeding directions is under 25 pounds. You want half a chew daily, 25 to 75 pounds, one chew daily and over 75 pounds two chews daily so um i'm gonna give Bo two of these a day these actually they feel kind of rich too you know i'm not being biased here i feel like these these supplements they just look better you know um i've seen some ones that are really dry and just fall apart i've seen the pill version no dog really likes pill version if your dog likes the pill version drop a comment Tell me how you're able to do it because my dogs just pull out a whole damn pill out of a hot dog. But um, yeah, so far I like the way they look. They have a strong smell. I think he would like these, um, but I'm gonna give it to him. So uh, let's see if he likes them. I am gonna do updates on how Bo is coming along with these protein supplements. I'm gonna show you if he gets bigger or not, if uh, these are worth it in the long run. Today's review is just if my dog will eat it, 
which I'm pretty positive he will, and um, how I think of them, which are so far a good experience. So again, if you want to pick these up, there'll be a link in the description where you can go check them out. So uh, without further ado, let's go give them the bow. Wait. Come. Come. Leave it. Wait. Well, come. Well, he liked that. Yep, he ate it. Okay, so uh, that's what he looks like. Now, um, we have the raw feeding. Uh, I already know he's gonna eat it. <laughs> I know he's gonna like it, but um, I just like to make him wait before I give him some raw food. Wait. Yes. Breaking down the bone. So the True Bees protein powder is on all that pork. So um, safe to say he likes it. Just one piece at a time, huh? That's all gone. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. We're all about the bull breeds, killing the bad stereotypes, becoming better owners. Uh, leave a comment. What do you think? Are you gonna pick up the True Beast Protein Booster?